Before World War II, everybody got along real good. We had people, white people here, traveling from village, from our Indian villages, to activities maybe in Rapid City. On the way over there, they go by wagon trains, and they could stop any place along the way at a ranch or something, water their horses and their things like this. And they were always there to welcome them and give them dinner or something, just like we've done here. Dinner, uh, have dinner with us. They, some of them knew my dad and said, come on, Taylor, put your horses away. We'll feed them. Don't worry about them. We'll feed them. Have coffee or something. And we'd stop there and we'd have lunch with them people. Sometimes before they before we leave there, they gave us watermelons or something to take along as lunch. We're on our way. Today, it's not that way. Any place you go, you get what you want, you pay for it. Sometimes you pay dearly for it. Oh, and go. There's none of that anymore. No more kindness anymore. No more Indian way of life. <coughs> it's different. So today, uh, after World War II, everything turned differently. There was prejudice. There was uh, all this crap come along gang members and all that stuff come along. They even fight amongst each other in the same town. And that's how it started. And, and nobody, nobody's got a friend, you know, that they could introduce to another friend that belongs to another gang. None of that anymore. Everybody's sort of Sorrow face always got her mind on you, on you, for pilots. It's no good anymore. These Indian people, they go to these powwows. They, they stand there looking there. Nobody's even an announcer, Indian announcer, powwow announcer, speaks English. I don't explain any uh, ceremonials that's going on out there. Just dancing, singing, that's all. They, they stand there and look on. They don't understand it, so they just walk away. Go drink beer or something or elsewhere. Uh, they forget their own culture. They forget their own activities because they don't understand. English, English, they speak English all the time. They're forgetting their Indian language. And if they could speak Indian, they could understand some of the powwows and ceremonies that are taking place, they could understand it. But they don't. They just don't want to understand. They want to join the gang, gangs or drinking, go to a bar, something like that. And they're being lost. And it's hard to bring them back because they're too far gone, a lot of them.